Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Zed. Now whenever I talk about Zed, I want to bring out like Pulp Fiction references, like Zed's dead baby and bring out the gimp. But instead, what we're going to do is focus on what the hell a Zed is. And Zed is an editor, a code editor. You can see it in front of you right now. This is dealing with some uh, C++ code. It's got a lot of neat features out of the box, such as integration with ChatGPT, uh, if you want to use Code Assistant. Uh, you've got support for a number of different languages. You do have full integration into uh the uh, source control, so for example here, you can see the line, each line of code, the last person that actually worked on that line of code will be shown. Nice integrations like that. But the big thing about Zed is this is being developed using Rust. This was actually from the people that brought us, ironically enough, Atom. Atom was developed as an IDE inside of GitHub, and it led to us having Electron. Now, Electron is the runtime used to develop Visual Studio Code, and probably one of the things people hate about Visual Studio Code the most is the fact that it's Electron-based and the performance costs of that. Well, Zed kind of gets around a lot of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. So here I'm going to go bring up the palette, um, Command-Shift-P, uh, and then what I'm going to do is go in, let's look at the themes. So here I'm going to bring up the toggle theme selector. I'm going to switch between themes. You're going to get an idea of the performance of Zet. So here we go. New themes. So yeah. Yeah, it's a uh it's a fast, it's a fast IDE. So if you're the kind of person that notices like millisecond lag, lag when using your IDE, or you find um, Visual Studio code bloated or whatever else, Zed might be a great pickup for you with one major flaw. And this was a huge flaw. Uh, you may have noticed the more astute among you that this is Mac OS. Yes, I'm using my Mac to record this, mostly because I have to. This is a Mac only application, or I should say this was a Mac only application. If we head on over here, and we'll come back to some of the details about it in just a second, but what we're more interested in this. So uh, yesterday they released Z0.143.6, not the most assuming name you've ever seen, but what you'll probably notice here are these ones, Linux Arch 64 and x86-64. Yeah, there is now Linux support. So Linux is now available. Uh, they worked on it for the last six months. Their team and the open source community have been working to bring Zed to Linux. As of today, they've released their first official stable build of Zed on Linux. So if you're a Linux user, you can now go ahead and check out Zed. By the way, if you're a Windows user, you still can as well, uh, but it's not considered stable and you're building it from code. So here we go back to Zed itself. If you're interested in checking out Zed, it is available at zed.dev. Uh, again, the whole idea, high performance, uh, multiplayer code editor from the creators of Atom and TreeSitter. It is also open source. Uh, so big thing here, again, is performance. So uh, difference in speed, it's like almost twice as fast as Visual Studio Code, for example. It does have a co-pilot integration, so you can use ChatGPT4 to refactor code, etc. built directly inside of the editor. It is language aware, so full syntax tree for every buffer as you... Um, as you type, a uh, number of different languages available, code navigation, diagnostics, and refactoring. It has an integrated terminal. It does have theming support, as we saw uh, as a demonstration there. If you are a Vim person, Vim is there as well. Uh, it has, again, multiple developers working together on the same project uh, there, a virtual office for software teams. So again, if you're doing collaborative coding, could be a good pickup in that regard. Uh, and then you can also connect to other people's remote work, navigate together. Uh, it is also incredibly fast, so that performance goes goes beyond being just driven in Rust. It's actually using your GPU uh, for rasterizing the windows. So uh, the if you're a frame sensitive, which is weird when you're talking about something like an IDE, but if the, the refresh rate of your screen and those kind of things are important to you, uh, this guy is built for speed from the ground up. Uh, so built for multiple cores, uh, extensively fuzz tested for stability, uh, and so on. So that is the entire idea behind the Zed IDE. Again, one of the biggest limitations in the past used to be that uh, it was Mac only. It's still available for Mac, by the way, uh, but it is also now available for Linux. So you can see how you can install it right here. I do have, uh, they do have downloads directly available as well. And Windows, not yet available, but as you can see, you can build it from source. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. This is the Zed IDE, now available with Linux support. Um, it is, again, one of the most performance-oriented code editors out there that's built around the entire idea of performance. So if that is a priority for you, Zed is definitely worth checking out. Now, you're not getting the modularity, you're not getting the uh, massive expansion that you see with like Visual Studio Code, which is turning into almost an operating system. This is more focused and streamlined in what it does, and if it doesn't do what you want, it's probably not the right editor for you. But if you're looking for something that's fast, 
uh, it definitely could be. I know a lot of people very much like Zed uh, and have been limited because it's been Mac only, but now it is on Linux and you can check it out on Windows if you build it from code. Uh, so more people can definitely check Zed out. Have you checked out Zed? What did you think of it? Let me know. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.